This is the Forest Heritage Center at the park. Also a spot for a couple trailheads. Have a nice gift shop. Inside there are a lot of displays uh, related to things around the park, trees, things like that, uh, wildlife. Uh, also some nice examples of some woodworking by local woodworkers that are on display. This is the group pavilion at the Buckeye Campground. Buckeye has 30 amp services, water, uh, but no sewer. Each of the spots are numbered and have names of those that have reserved the site uh, at the current point and for the next week. We were told this site is going to be completely renovated next year. They'll have 50 amp service, water, and sewer at each of the sites. All of the parking pads are concrete with uh, asphalt areas for the tow vehicles. Um, all of them are relatively flat and easy to get into. This is our location, spot number 30. This is the road to the lower dam area and entry to the Acorn Campground area. Acorn has uh, 30 and 50 amp services, uh, pump water, no sewers, and most of the pads are either concrete or gravel or some asphalt. Most of the areas are right on the river, and there is an upper area to the left of this called Cypress Campground. This is Grapevine Campground, which is a primitive and tent camping area, also along one of the uh, edges of the river. This is the road going over the dam at Broken Bow Lake or Reservoir, depending on which map you see. This is still part of the dam, but it is the spillway that leads into the river. There 
is an overlook and parking area uh, near the spillway. This is zone one fishing area just below the spillway. There were several people fly fishing uh, the day we were there. This is another part of the uh, river below the spillway and there are people fishing today also. This is an area of the river for fishing. Uh, also, there's canoe rental, there's a fly shop, and there are fishing platforms along the road so that you can walk out and uh, fish during the day. This is the road to the marina and that parking area is the overflow parking area. We're coming into the main parking area for the marina. Sorry about the video, it was uh, raining that day. have a store, uh, they have uh, houseboat rental, and I believe uh, jet ski rentals. And there are several boat ramps uh, in this area. This is another picnicking, uh, possible tent camping area, and also boat ramp with parking uh, near the marina area. This is Lakeview Lodge. Behind the lodge there is a uh, boat ramp and parking area. Mm -hmm. 
We were at Beaver's Bend for five days, uh, enjoyed our stay, a lot of activities there, although the little train and stables were closed at the time we were there. Also near a town called Hokatown, uh, which has several good restaurants and some good wine tasting locations. The RV campgrounds were nice, and we look forward to returning another time.